Good afternoon, everybody. Well, evening here. And welcome to New World Order Poetry. I thought I would share some of my poetry with you that I've had since, well, the 90s, starting in the early 90s when I... To give you a background on this, my father uh, passed away when I was about 15. And I just came across this file. This is the Greg Orr Poetry. And I was going to read of some of these. Uh, some of them are about Vietnam. And uh, they are quite... Let's put it this way. I read one short poem here and I uh, fell into tears right away because of the shit that, you know, people go through. And uh, so I'm going to read that in future videos. Because I figure my father never shared his poetry with anyone else. And I thought the best thing I can do is to put it out there in the world, put his words out there in the universe. And I actually talked about that like five years ago on YouTube, that I was going to make that, but I never ended up making any of those into, I did read one about cannabis, but, so this right here is just a stack of papers that I pulled out of a, I was looking for a receipt, and I have a bind, uh, one of those big, you know, plastic tubs full of just files, and every one of those files is full of a different year or random file full of my poetry and short stories that I wrote years ago. Now, mind you, all of these were written by hand. Some of them were in interesting drug-induced uh, moments. Others were just being hyper-focused on, uh, you know, my thinking and my thoughts. Going back through this, it's almost embarrassing. The ignorance that I had when I was young. And uh, I've never, only recently, most of these are from the mid-90s, so they're basically between uh, 20 and 25 years old. And I was between basically 15 and 20 when I wrote a lot of this. And I want to read one to you. I know I've already spent two minutes talking about it, but it's because I've uh, I've talked a lot about my uh, conspiracy phase and, and how I kind of uh, dismiss, you know, conspiracy thinking these days. But uh, I wanted to read this thing that I wrote. It must, I don't have it dated, but judging by the, you know, the writing and the type of paper, I had these yellow things back in the you know late 90s, so I'm going to guess about 97, so it's probably about 21 years old. So that would have set me at about 20, 22 years old. I could have been a little earlier. The title is, Words of an Illuminati Destined to a Slave, and then it's torn off, um, Slave Something, The New World Order. I'm not sure what that meant, but... Uh, these days I would joke about this, but this is an actual uh, two-page thing I wrote, so. It is happening. Finally, after all this time, the public ignorance of the government's ulterior motives has finally reached a climax. Now the New World Order is in order, and the only way to stop it is by becoming informed. However, these brainwashing techniques, i.e. the false media, television, misinformation, drugs, cigarettes, etc., have come to surface more rapidly, creating a vast emptiness where truth once prevailed. The Constitution is a hoax, now able to be suspended in the event of a national emergency, e.g. an outbreak of domestic riots, violence, or just plain revolution. Our rights are being pulled from under our fucking noses. This slick work by our big brother, combined with the ignorance of the public, is the stepping stone for the greatest abomination of all, the New World Order. Dun, dun, dun. The insanity of it all amazes me. As well, the magnitude of it is beyond comprehension. The people choose to be unaware, for no one has the courage to speak out, and with good reason. They might just find themselves in an accident. The best weapon is knowledge, education, and preparation for the almost omnipotent force that has formed against us. No action can yet be taken until the enemy has been identified, isolated, and planned upon. The conspiracists are well hidden behind the cloak of wealth in politics. 
Only the educated will be able to take action, for this is such a revolutionary battle that it requires knowledge of the technologies that are being used to herd the people, the government's farm, sheep. Only the law of natural selection will apply, and those too weak to fight may as well stay home. However, for the few of us who know the truth, we must band together against this monstrous evil and override their plans to a slave world. And, as to those who know the truth, shall it come to surface in time. Good luck. When I read that, I thought, how serious was I when I actually wrote that? And how much of it do I still agree with? Now, after rereading it, because I did read it earlier, I was like, oh, that's hilarious. I also say that I still agree with so many of the components of that. We're being lied to, being manipulated. We have the media constantly telling us BS. And in fact, the media even had a chance to redeem themselves, you know, to actually do something good after this whole issue with the president calling them fake news, instead of them just saying, well, we're going to prove that we can be non-partial, they continued on their biased streak of, you know, breaking news, breaking news, and it's all garbage. But uh, we're being told and uh, what, what people want us to hear and people with money want us to hear and fed lies constantly. Sure, all of this is still true. Uh, do there Are there people that still want to run the world and control <clears throat> all the governments and uh, make it a one world government? Absolutely. Do I believe in the Illuminati? No, of course not. The Illuminati existed in the 1700s and uh, disappeared within 20 years. Call it what you want. There were several secret societies that passed down knowledge, but uh, the Illuminati is not something that I would actually take seriously. But, of course, this is much deeper than one video. This is really me just sharing my poem and the thoughts I had at the time to give people an example of where I'm coming from when I talk shit about conspiracies, when I talk shit about this whole idea of the New World Order, because it's not about whether things are happening out there. It's about why are we wasting our time on things that we don't understand and things that we can't change. You, know, you can talk about secret societies, you can talk about governments, you can talk about any of this stuff, but it's not going to change what is unless you have the inner workings and can actually understand it. So it ends up being fodder for the mind, a way to waste our time on something because we are uh, we don't have anything else to focus on or we're bored in our lives. There are a million reasons why a person can, uh, you know, spend hours upon end studying conspiracies. But I went through my phase. I definitely had that, you know, uh, kind of obsession with it. And one day I kind of woke up to the fact that I can't change everything. So it is what it is. Um, but becoming more aware of things, you can say, well, maybe this isn't as bad as you thought it was. But the main point, I guess, to make is that I realize that uh, people aren't as smart as we would like to give them credit for. Um, the idea that people can actually come together among, you know, several different governments to orchestrate a mass worldwide plot, um, I would actually hope that that's even possible. It would show that people are capable of more than just BS. Uh, I don't, you know, it, people tend to leak information, they tend to become unreliable, and uh, generations change the way that we view the world. I think that we really want somebody to be in the driver's seat. We really want to believe that there's an invisible hand behind everything. You know, for example, the Illuminati, the idea that every single thing that happens is controlled, that every pop star that's put into you know, uh, position is, is planned that way. I've heard some wild stories out there, but they are pretty far-fetched and really useless in, you know, daily living, in my opinion. So, anyhow, I'll continue to ramble if I go on about that. I just wanted to share that kind of little piece of my history and uh, talk to y'all later.